today is one of those days when I pay myself for being a very good girl. So I have decided for breakfast today, I'm going to order from one of the best restaurants in this country. So let's call them and tell Welcome them to Cafe it's 10 minutes to midday. Hold the line while we connect you to our guest care representative. I'm going to tell you why I ordered this time. Good morning. Thank you for calling Cafe Java's call center. Hadija speaking. Hadija, good morning. Amita speaking. I've used another number. This is not the number I always use, but I would like to order for breakfast. For breakfast. Which breakfast would you want to have? Let me have the chapati combo, please. Then the chapati combo. How do you want your eggs to be done? Scrambled. We need scrambled eggs, then the juice. Let me have the pineapple and mint. And tea, or tea, African tea spiced. You think the African tea spiced? Mm. Okay, I mean, do you think you have to like that on order? Uh, nope, no. Okay, this is a little bit of 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 a other contact comes in. Let me read you my other contact and then you see my previous destination. Okay. Uh, uh, 787 87 616 616 445 445 The delivery charge will be 7,000 mm. and the total bill is going to be 38,000. Okay, thank you. In how long will they be here? Uh, 45 that will be there. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you too. Have a good day. A good day too. Currently, it is midday. I told you when I was ordering that it was uh, 10 minutes to midday. The reason as to why I order for my breakfast towards midday is because number one, I'm not an early person, an early breakfast person. I cannot have my breakfast at 7, 8, or 9 a.m. I always have my breakfast at around 11, 11.30 a.m. It is a thing that I really can't change. I've failed. Maybe with time I'll adjust. But as per now, I've totally failed to have breakfast earlier than that. So because I can't have breakfast and then have lunch at the same time, I prefer on my cheat days, on the days when I am treating myself to uh, food outside the house, I order for my breakfast at around 11 uh, 40 11 45 because cafe Java's can't let me order for breakfast after midday because that time is considered lunch time i can only order for bigger meals and yet those bigger meals are number one very expensive and number two very heavy for me and the thing about their breakfast is it is balanced like they will drop a protein in it they'll drop um vitamin in it they'll drop some starch they'll drop like everything so you're very sure that at the end of it all you're going to eat a balanced diet so i prefer to order for the breakfast have it as my brunch breakfast stroke lunch and then in the evening i'll just grab something small maybe tea or juice or water yeah or a salad uh steve taught me how to eat salads lately so once in a while once in a while i eat a salad not always like once in like three weeks i'll eat a salad so that is the reason as to why i order for my breakfast at around this time otherwise good morning good afternoon good evening to all of you my beautiful handsome and amazing subscribers and viewers amito mitra here from kampala uganda east africa i am always humbled knowing that you people take time off your busy schedules to watch me i really appreciate and may god bless you and bless you abundantly i hope that god is protecting you guys i hope that he is guiding you he is providing for you he is healing you and he is keeping you safe i want you guys fine because if you are fine i am fine as well may god continue answering all your prayers I wanted to announce the winner for the previous challenge in this video but I have decided to postpone it to the next video 
for just a few reasons i just want to see look at the comments again read them carefully with tina of value farm and both of us will choose who we think is the winner so something i also needed to tell you is tina decided to give something to the winner from her farm i don't know what it is but tina is going to give the winner something from her farm and yeah kindly thank tina for us in the comment section otherwise let's continue with today's video i want to go and shower i'm not going to take you through my shower i want to go and shower and come back and tell you something very interesting so Moninde, kindly wait for me Cafe Java's delivered an hour ago, but I was still showering, as you can see. So I'm going to be showing you what exactly they delivered. The thing about Cafe Java's, they'll always deliver, and it's on rare occasions that they will not deliver what you asked for. I think they always deliver what you've asked for. I've only had one bad encounter with them that I really entirely don't blame them for because they delivered food and then the Irish wasn't okay you know that Irish that is hard we've all experienced that before you buy Irish you cook it for several minutes but it is still very hard inside so I just complained actually complained not because I wanted a refund but because I just wanted to let them know that if they still have that Irish they should not cook it they should not serve it to clients because it is not good and guess what cafe javas delivered more irish to me that was really really nice so i commend them for the good work that they're doing in this country i think it's the only restaurant that i can rely on i can call cafe javas anytime any day i can move from the house if i'm extremely hungry get an uber go to any cafe javas branch any time of the night um anytime before midnight and get something to eat so cafe javas you're doing the best you're doing a very great job i know some of your workers watch my videos just pass on the information let them know that they're doing a very good job So I don't normally want to eat alone so if you're at home kindly pick something from your kitchen and put it in front of you and be eating as I eat because the things of you people watching me eat alone are not nice. So pick whatever you want to pick. If you can order for something kindly pause the video order for something and then watch this video while you're eating. Okay I hope we are together. So um, there is something I want to do. Have you been so keen about the music I use on this channel? There is a particular song. There is a particular song that I always use. And so many of you have loved it so much and you're always asking me, Oh, Amito, what's the title of the song that you're using in your video? Where can we get it? Blah, 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 blah. So today I want you to know that that song is not on any platform. That song is a song sung by a friend of mine who was trying out his music career in Uganda and failed. That is the only song he sang and that was the last song he sang. So he left Uganda, he went for greener pastures in the United States of America and he quit music. So I told him, I want to help you. I want to use that song of yours. For my videos because if you failed to promote it let me promote it for you so we are going to call one of my very closest friends it's called Metron and thank him for giving us that song because I've you know how there is a lot of copyright on YouTube so many people find it hard to use music on YouTube because once you use someone's music before you know it you're not getting any money from that video or sometimes the video is totally down or even mute but who am I that at least I have a song that I can use and not worry about copyright anytime any soon so we are going to call Nechon and thank him as a Mitomitra YouTube family right guys we are a family and I want us to thank Nechon together 
I don't know if he's awake because this is the time uh, those guys wake up. So let's see. Hello? Good morning, Natron. Good morning. Hey. My battery is low. That's why I'm using this phone. My battery is low. Hey. 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 You can't you, even if I wanted lunch, you you wouldn't fail to 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 buy me lunch, right? Hey. Tawali, how are you, Natron? I'll be fine. Good morning again. So, I have called you because, number one, I want to thank you for being the best brother in the world, the best friend in the world. There is nobody. Now why are you calling me on video? I'm alone for Christ's sake. I'm alone. Let me let me see around. I'm alone. There is nobody. Ah. There is no I'm how I'm in the bedroom. See now to go and deny it. Why would I nobody? Anyway, anyway, ne, Natron, you're live on my YouTube channel. Oh, <laughs> so we are here with my whole YouTube uh, family, uh, uh -huh. wanting to thank you for. Oh for giving us the best song because with with this whole copyright <laughs> issue on YouTube at least we have a song yeah. that we can use without getting worried about copyright <laughs> so my YouTube channel my YouTube family and I have decided to uh, say thank you to you officially thank you so uh, much you're welcome don't blush too much it's okay why? I knew you were up to something. Why? Because I know you. I know you just don't call me like that out of the blue on this number. So, so I'm using the other number, <laughs> the other phone to shoot. That's why I use this phone, this number to call you. Oh. Mm. Oh. You're welcome. But don't get me off guard like that next time. Thank you so much. Can I show your face to the family, the YouTube family? Yes or no? Why are you nodding your head? Yes or no? I don't want them to think that I am the one who does. Because I know you're single, you know. I know you're single and this is the best chance for you to get someone to marry. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing this for you. No, no, no. no. Yes or no? No, maybe next time. Okay, <laughs> so thank you so much. I'm going to switch you but, off. But, 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 mm. but you know me, you've seen me, so I mean, yeah, we're good. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much for that song. We really appreciate with the whole YouTube family. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. May God bless you too. May He bless everything you do, and I hope you keep winning. Amen. Thank you, and thank you so much. You're welcome. But I don't have lunch today. Anything for you. <laughs>
Okay, bye for now. I'll call you later. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you in a bit. You call me after you bang and shit in your video. Alright, then. Alright, bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Those of you who haven't listened to that song, allow me to uh, play the song for all of you guys as I eat my breakfast. Talk to you later. Sometimes I wish my daddy was here So I could get a little hold of what a daddy could give I saw my dreams fade in the streams Of the daddy running for the house side on the streets Sometimes I wish my dreams were real I would have been a little different in viewing me I saw my hopes fade in the streams Of the daddy running for the house side on the streets He had up on me even if you brought me roses My grandmama told me every day I know it It took a little longer to truly appreciate who I am I stop a hole into it just like a hole in my mind, surely I've have seen it Sitting on the sea, so the world keep on turning around Till you hear a bingo, oh, they tell my body God I wanna know him more, he told me to be humble So he could let me know He had a bomb me He had a bomb my closing He had a bomb my story He had a bomb my glory It's all about you You brought me this far from nowhere I give you all the glory You deserve much better when I know this I'm running back to my roots in the first lane Hoping you could have me on the same day Gracious, nice, no scared They was looking at me saying that I'm so fake Now we've been rolling many years and at this rate I feel your strong hand on me my chest, I'ma press a little hard with no games. Cause I know where I'm going, not no stress. Sometimes I wish you were sitting right beside me. I would definitely be the little shoulder with the cry again. It's a little bit of me, it's what it takes. And I'ma leave the rest to God, he knows best. It really doesn't matter if my life is boring. In your eyes, that's the only view of his glory. Come and dwell in me, Holy Spirit. Cause you made my eyes see clearly. He had a bone me. Hand up on my closing Hand up on my story Hand up on my glory It's all about you You brought me this far from nowhere I give you all the glory You deserve much better when I know this now you got a testimony and I see it's binding you So let the world know what the Lord is doing in you You were robbed, they say every day we know that it's true But if you get them to the efforts, man, it's not what you did There's a good God working in a good you Jeremiah 29, 11, that is so true It's not what you did, what you do now, or what you would But there's a good God creator, he made me be Hand up on me Hand up on my closing Hand up on my story Hand up on my glory It's all about you You brought me this far from nowhere I give you all the glory You deserve much better when I know this It's all about you You brought me this far from nowhere I give you all the glory You deserve much better when I know this So I hope you all have loved the song. If you have, kindly say thank you to Netron in the comment section. As for me, that song speaks to me in so many different ways. For those of you who have lost a parent or two before, you'll understand that song better. It speaks to so many of us. Thank you so much, Netron. I know you'll be watching this video. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. And I want you to know that I love you so much in Jesus' name. So. I have been here thinking about something and I realized we have never pranked honey so I want us to prank him we are going to call him and tell him that I am like I'm going to be arrested I have been summoned to report to the police station for a stolen phone and the phone I am going to say they are talking about is the one I'm using to shoot 
because honey bought that phone this phone that i'm using here honey bought it i bought this one but honey bought this one so i'm going to tell him that they've taken my phone away and they've told me to report to the police station because they think i stole the phone let's see what he is going to say because he bought this phone from the u.s he bought it brand new but um <laughs> i really don't like making him sad but i have to like i just have to so let's prepare our jaws to laugh at honey i hope he doesn't panic <laughs> I don't think he will panic anyway, but let's call him. Let's just call him. Good morning, baby. It's not up. Good morning, babe. How are you? I'm okay. What's going on? I'm not okay. Well, you know, I hate to hear that. Uh, tell me, what's the deal? I don't know what to do. What's going on? They've taken my phone, the, the other phone, the one you bought me. Yeah, I was afraid of that, but uh, it's okay. Huh? You know it's always going to be okay. Did you hear what I said? I did hear what you said. They took your phone. No, they didn't steal it. They just took it away. How does that work? Tell me more. So I've been someone to go to the police. They said that that phone was stolen and I was telling them that honey bought it from the US. But they kept saying that that phone has been stolen. Okay. So now someone may have told me to go to the police station and write a statement. Honey, we'll get through this. So, uh, how can I help you? Can I talk to someone and tell them I bought it for you? I don't know because they kept, they say they tracked it. So, I don't know. I was telling them that I cannot buy, a, I cannot steal a phone. If anyone stole that phone, then it is Honey who stole it, not me because he's the one who brought it for me. <laughs> yes, uh, baby, I can get a receipt printed off and then I can send that to your Airtel phone and you can show them. So I'm going to the police station right now. I don't even know if they'll give me bail. So did you say something about bail? Yeah, because most times when you go to the police, they, they take you, they don't let you go. Oh, honey, we'll, we'll, we'll get through it. It's okay. Whatever the bail is, you know, like the, the number one thing is we just got to keep our head on straight and know that we didn't do anything wrong and We'll get to the bottom of it. Oh, honey, do you think the phone was stolen? Do you think when we bought it, they had stolen it? No, absolutely not. I bought it from Amazon and it was brand new. <laughs> okay, baby. I think you're going to send me the results and I show them. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, let me start uh, collecting those. <laughs> okay, honey. Uh, honey? Yes. I know it's tough and I know it's sad and and I don't want you to feel anything you shouldn't, but uh, the most, the highest chance for success is going to be you composing yourself and showing them that, you know, you're not a criminal and that you are responsible. And so that means, you know, collecting yourself a little bit. I'm so sorry for what happened. <laughs> So, honey, what if I tell them that you are the one who's told it? Do you think they'll let me go? Honey, you know your country better than I do. I don't think it's a good idea to tell people that, you know, we're stealing things because we're not. <laughs> so, Amita. Yes, baby. Um, where are you right now? I'm home. Okay. Um, if you're not in a rush, I'd, I'd love to make sure that you 
calm down before I let you go because you can, I don't want you to I don't want to see you like this so you know cry it out do what you got to do I'm here for you it's okay it's always going to be okay Always, always, always. Okay, baby. Honey, that wasn't long enough. Talk to me for a little bit. <laughs> what should I say? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I was uh, going through my suitcase and I found that post-it note that you wrote me and it, put, and it made me feel very, very good. <laughs> and how is that going to help us as police? All right, just trying to relax you a little bit, but I won't try that again, maybe. saying makes any sense that when you walk in there you want to be composed and collected and in control I don't know babe because I'm not okay that's why I'm here for you though because I'm I'm the one person in your life that you've chosen to make things okay and I will okay babe Amito if if it comes down to it, I'll buy you that phone 300 more times, 10 hundred more times. Like, it's not an issue. We'll always get you a phone. Why are you calling me a mentor? You've never called me that. Yes, I call you a mentor a lot. My love, honey. I'm here for you. I'm always going to be here for you. I'm always going to take care of you. There are no more times in your life where you have to worry about what the future holds because I've got you. Okay, honey, I'm going to get an Uber and go to the station. Sure, but before you go to the station, I need you to call me and hear that you're collected because you can't go to the station like this. <coughs> I, I, I don't mind staying on the phone with you but you know you're gonna you're gonna need to take some time to I don't know drink some tea cry it out you're in shock right now your body is trying to understand a difficult situation. It's not easy, but of course we'll get through it. <laughs> okay, babe, I thank you. Sure, sure. <sighs> you, you just never have to worry that I won't be here for you, taking care of you and making sure that everything's okay. Thank you, babe. I'm so sorry that happened. I wish it could have been me. But I'm... I said I'm so sorry that happened to you. I wish it could have been me instead. So should I tell them to come for you? To call me? To come and arrest you instead. I'm having a hard time understanding you right now, huh? <laughs> Let it out. Let it out, huh? <laughs> Honey, I'm laughing.
laughing. I'm not crying. <laughs> Okay, I thought you were crying. <laughs> oh my god, I just pranked you. You said that I can never prank you, honey. I just pranked you right now. <laughs> honey, <laughs> I am mean, very, very upset. <laughs> I didn't think I was being recorded right now. I'd have a few choice words for you. <laughs> I'm sure this is. Uh, I'm sure this is for public consumption in some form or another. <laughs> yes, you are being recorded. <laughs> yeah. I'm you really, sorry. You really, con you really convinced me, honey. I mean, you did a perfect job with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Okay. <laughs> Just, my, my adrenaline's pumping and, um, my day is going to be affected by this but I hope it's worth it I'm sorry I'm sorry you know I didn't I didn't want to do this but I had no option I really wanted to prank you because I'd never pranked you before I'm so sorry yeah, no, <laughs> well, I, I don't know if I accept your apology yet I'll have to think about it <laughs> <laughs> I know my my YouTube family is going to request you to forgive me. I'm going to request them to help Teddy to forgive me on my behalf because I was doing it for them. <laughs> so I think I think uh, it'll be up to your YouTube family whether or not I should forgive you. <laughs> my head is aching, honey. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Okay, I'm going Just to call like that, you're gonna... No, honey, I'm going to call you immediately after ending this video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, baby. That sounds good. Okay, talk to you soon. I love you. Love you bye too. Bye. bye. <laughs>